What's going on, everybody? This is Bishop Brad. I wanted to come to y'all and simply talk about my brand new show, Mexicana Spirit Food, Gringo in Mexico. Um, hey, cheers to everybody. I'm relaxing on my back porch on this beautiful Texas day, and I want to help y'all understand the concept and the direction of this show. You know, when I first moved to Texas, I was turned on to a culture that I'd never experienced before. Uh, I always loved Mexican food. I'm originally from Virginia, and I was 13 years old when I moved to Texas. The only Mexican restaurants that I ever knew in my whole life were Taco Bell and a restaurant called Chi Chi's. Okay, now my favorite fascination was going to Chi Chi's and then coming out with those sizzling, smoking fajitas. It was then that I found out that, you know what, this is my favorite, favorite food. Well, you know, it is what it was. Chi Chi's was in between. Taco Bell it is what it is. But when I moved to Texas, I was turned on to all the different styles, all the different flavors, all the different from barbacoa to menudo to enchiladas to all the varieties of tacos to chalupas. Chalupas and tostadas are the same thing. Uh, Al Pastor, there was all these varieties of delicious, wonderful Mexican cuisine, cuisine dishes that made me even fall in love even more. In between it all was all the sauce. All the different varieties of salsa. It was like it all just had its own DNA and its own fingerprint. Nothing was ever made exactly the same all had its own just character and flavor. And that was when I fell in love with hot sauce and salsa. Um, I, I, I spent a lot of my time in my younger years uh, going over across the border to Nuevo Laredo, to Progreso, uh, to the valley, and uh, enjoying shopping until I dropped, drinking margaritas till I was dehydrated as hell. Um, going to the doctor and getting pills and all kinds of stuff. Because I was young. I was young. The one thing I never really did was go get a prostitute. I never went to Boys Town. I never did anything. I never pushed a midget down the steps. I never got to do anything like that. I wanted to go get fucked up. Well, you know, um, I'm telling you this because I, I'm a gringo. I remember that I, they were so familiar in seeing me come across the border, they would go, hey, gringo, hey, widow, hey, widow, hey, gringo, wiggle, widow, gringo, whatever it may be. You stick a white man in Mexico, you are definitely a, 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 a stain on a white shirt. You know what I'm talking about? You really stick out. When you go over there, you're so fascinated at how everything is so inexpensive and so cheap. And so wonderful. I love the Mexican culture. I fell in love with the Mexican culture. The Mexicans and the Hispanic people really have their shit together. From, from family, they're all about family. From family to the food to the culture to the beauty of Mexico, I truly fell in love with everything in Mexico. And when you stick a gringo, a gringo like me in Mexico who don't know Spanish or anything, it is what it is. You know, you're a duck out of water. And that's the purpose of this show. I want you to get a good grasp and a feeling from where it came from to where it led up to to now. You know, I don't know Spanish. So when I'm going to do product reviews on this actual show, I don't know Spanish. The fun part is looking at this gringo trying to read Spanish. It's going to be terrible. It's going to be awful. And that's the point. That's the point. You, you know, I just did a recent review on a Brazilian product. I, I, I didn't know Brazilians. I, I knew Brazilians spoke. Portuguese, but I played it in the video like it was Spanish. White, you stick a white person 
and 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 and, and a South American country. I don't care if it's Mexico, Venezuela, Brazil. You're a, you're a duck out of water, man. So the whole concept with this is to have fun. Is to have fun. Bring to y'all some of the most coolest products from Central and South America, whether it be Mexico, Brazil, Argentina, Puerto Rico, dude. These are some rocking, rocking countries. And I love them. I love their products. I love the fact that I can't read it. I love the fact that it's the label. I love the fact that it's from a different country. And that's what I want to bring. I want to bring fun, laughter, with a comedian humorous twist to it, and help you all understand that when you stick a gringo like me in a, in a country, that he doesn't know what the fuck is going on. He just wants to... He just wants to enjoy the culture. You're gonna get a you're gonna get something that comes across funny and dumb. Funny and dumb. And that's what I wanna do. That's what I wanna do with Gringo and Mexico. I decided to call the uh, the show Mexicano Spirit Food because I just love Mexican food. And all that comes with it, from the sodas, to the candies, to the beer, to the tequila, to, 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 to the salsas, everything. That's what we're going to get on Gringo in Mexico and Mexicana Spirit Food. So I hope you get this. I hope you all see this. And I hope this leads you to understand uh, the motivation behind it. It opens doors for me to be able to do multiple reviews of many different products. And, and, and it's something that comes from spirit with me and my love for the Mexican people, the Hispanic people, the people of, 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 of Puerto Rico, Brazil. Very family-oriented, culturally beautiful people. And, uh, yeah, you guys stick my gringo ass in there. And I'm trying to figure it out. So I want you all to have fun, man. Much love. This is Bishop Brad. I hope this grows, and I hope y'all enjoy all these awesome products that y'all are about to see that y'all don't ever get to see. So, love y'all, man. I'm going to see y'all on the next one. Y'all have a good one. Bye-bye.